So I do want to say before this video starts is make sure you comment down below hashtag tempo best and you have a chance of winning a free banner for probably like next week. Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to run uh, Fortnite on a low end PC or laptop. Uh, Windows 10, 7, 8, whatever. Windows you are running will work. So this ain't going to be a tutorial like you have to edit your in-game files as those I don't really like as it changes all your controls. So I'm going to be teaching you a simple way. Before the video starts, so I'm using this to record OBS. I made a video on how to um, record Fortnite so I'll leave that link below. The first thing you want to do is click the Windows key and R. And sorry if I'm a bit quiet, it's fucking 3.40am. So this is a lot of um, what a lot of people do is click hash, um, sorry percent temp percent okay control a so and then click delete i've already deleted these before the video you might have like 500 in here i had like a thousand or something people have like 5000 and whatnot but after that you're going to click this x button up here this might take like a minute click the x button go down to this windows file down here and then we're going to go to this pc marked over here go to the windows c drive with this windows icon over here to make sure that's on it and then it's the right thing then we're going to go to properties then disk cleanup wait for this to clean i'll skip when it's done all right so i did do this before the video as well so you can see there's zero and all that stuff so you're just going to select all of this this might take days hours minutes seconds um mine takes like four seconds i'm going to click that and all this is doing is cleaning the stuff on your windows pc so you are able to run any game alright so it has finished all you want to do now is check all of this just by clicking this little box up there then click ok delete files as you can see it's doing all that um, it's loading alright so after that is done and close everything you are going to open up epic games so you just type in epic games down here pretty sure you know how to do that otherwise you won't be on this tutorial so you can click on the settings thing down here near the launch button click on to the settings if you are having difficulty with this, uh, please tell me down below. Or we'll click this troubleshoot button. Then you're going to click on this down arrow for Fortnite. This little down arrow here. Additional command line arguments. I'm going to paste this thing. I'm going to leave in the comments down below. And that will help like, run the game, I guess. And not like stutter. Or like freeze or lag. And if it does do that, you just need a new PC basically. That's the only thing I can give you. Like... This is just going to run like everything at high performance. So we're going to use task manager thing down here. So yeah. What you're going to do is when you are running um, the Fortnite game. Say if hmm, this was Fortnite right here. So if that was Fortnite game. Click go to details. Set priority. Make it high. Never real time. It'll make it lag. High or above normal. Not below either. So that's what you're going to do. Then we're going to close. So I do get about 300 FPS in Fortnite. But I uh, cap lock it to 120. So now what you're going to do after you do that, you're going to go to settings again. See if everything is in place after you put the, um, the command in, which is in the description. Also, I haven't said this already. Um, make sure to subscribe with the... Also, follow my Twitter, at TempoSWise. I'm not done with this video, by the way. This is my last tip. This is bonus. Everybody that has Windows has Windows Vendor, unless you have deleted it. Go to this. Windows. Defender. And I've scanned my PC like 7,000, 77,000 files, like my whole entire PC overnight, so maybe you guys should do that, because maybe it, there's a virus on your PC and it's making like, your game lag, and you just want to check all that, mine says there's nothing there, so obviously I don't need to restart my PC or anything like that, so check if your game is lagging after that, check this, back up your PC, troubleshoot all this, and just do all that, run a little scan, peace out. My love, if you feel